Hey guys, welcome to this 10 minute ball mastery routine. This is perfect to improve your technical skills. This specific workout, we're gonna start with the basics, but then move into more complex movements that are game realistic. So it's actually gonna help you in your game. Remember, focus on technique first, and then you can pick up the pace. I'm here to coach you through it, so let's get into it. First exercise, we got inside ball taps. So just touching the ball with the inside of your foot. Again, focus on technique. This one is just to work our way into it. With all these movements, once you get comfortable with it, I want you to get your head up, okay? See if you can do this with your head up. If you can scan the pitch, you'll get much more comfortable with the ball. As you get comfortable, let's get the speed up. Perfect, okay, five seconds off. Next up, we've got ball taps side to side. So same thing, but now we're going to the left and then we're going to the right. Same thing again, get the technique, and then I want you getting your head up and scanning. Nice and comfortable. Okay, slight bend in the knees. The closer you are to the ground, the faster you can change direction. There we go, last couple seconds. Keep it working. Perfect, five seconds off. Next up, we've got rolls, okay? So, just rolling the ball left to right. Another basic movement that's gonna come in handy. Just get comfortable with it. Ball mastery workouts are great because you're gonna get comfortable with the ball with both feet. A lot of players can only use one foot. You putting in this extra work, you're gonna be great with your left and your right foot. So, can we get the speed up? There we go. Next up, same idea. We're gonna roll the ball, but now twice to the left and then twice to the right. And you're gonna stop the ball in between. So twice to the left, twice to the right. There we go. Get comfortable with it. And then head up, scanning around. Good. Two rolls to the left, two to the right. As you get into this workout and you're moving through it, things should start to become easier. Okay, next we have a ball shift. With the ball shift, I just want you to shift the ball from the right to the left, left to the right, okay? So shift, 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 shift. If a player is coming in, boom, shift the ball, get out of his way. Messi uses something similar where he faints and then he goes around players. So you master this one, you'll be very good on the pitch. Shift from left to right, right to left. Perfect. Next up, we got right foot only you're gonna go two touches to the right two touches to the left so outside of the foot two touches inside of the foot two touches outside inside outside inside there we go as you get the hang of it speed this up again bend in the knees that's gonna allow you to cut very quick time same thing left foot Ready? Let's do it. Outside, outside, inside, inside. Outside, outside, inside, inside. Good. Guys, this one here, the best players, they can shift quickly from the outside to the inside. So you get comfortable with this one, you'll be able to beat anybody. It's all about how quickly can you go from the left to the right. Time, good. So next up we got the V cut, right foot, looks like this, okay? You're cutting into a V. So, inside, outside, good. This one's gonna come in handy. If the ball's congested, you wanna move it into open space, okay? There you go. Again, head up, scanning around. If you want, you can speed it up. Time, perfect. Same thing left foot keep it working keep putting in the work we're a couple minutes in remember most people not putting in this extra work but you you're here working putting in the work improving your skills so when that game comes when the training comes you're much better much more prepared much more technical you're going to stand out there we go last couple seconds keep working good and time now, we're gonna combine both. We're gonna do a V cut, but wide. So, both feet, 
but you're opening up into space. So if nothing's on, you open up into space. Very useful game realistic movement here. Okay, start slow and then you can pick up the speed. Again, get your head up, scan left, scan right. If you mess up, you get the ball, you're right back in the middle. Perfect. Next up, similar movement. We got a short V cut into space reset. A short V cut into space reset. Okay, there we go. Start slow, get the technique, and then we can speed up. So nothing's on, you open, touch into space, and you go. Very useful movement again. There we go, perfect guys. Keep up the work. Next up, L dragon behind. Now, pulling out the skill moves. I want you guys getting comfortable with this one. Drag the ball in behind, okay? We're about halfway, just over halfway through this workout. Heart rate should be up, keep it working. Once you're comfortable, head up. Can you do it? Just looking up, that's the challenge. Perfect, time. Next one, we got a 180 turn into space. So, nothing's on, turn, okay? Easy, 180 turn. Good, there you go. You can do a fake and you turn into space. If you want, you can do an extra touch, okay? But the idea is 180, you turn. 180, you turn. Good, keep it going. Time, perfect. Now, we have a scissor and a touch into space. Nice and slow, scissor, touch into space, reset. Scissor, touch into space, reset, okay? Let's see it. Good. Scissor, touch into space. With the scissor, get low, get the body involved too, touch into space. Nice, keep it working. Come on guys. Time, good. All right, now, step over, touch into space. Similar idea. Step over, touch into space, reset. Step over, touch into space, reset. Good. Ah, step over, touch into space, reset. Good, there we go. Let's see it. Now, can we pick up the pace a little bit on the step over? So, quick change of direction, okay? Time, good. Now, we're gonna move into shielding the ball. Nice and easy, this one. Shield the ball, pretend you've got a guy nice and low, keeping the ball away from him. Couple seconds on your right, and then a couple seconds on your left. Shielding the ball away, okay? Be strong, use your body, be aware of where the ball is. Get nice and low. There we go, guys, well done. Keep up the work. Good, all right. Next up, last sequence is here, weak foot only. So, for me, that's the left foot. Only use your weak foot. It's gonna be very challenging, it's gonna be uncomfortable, but challenge yourself. Doesn't matter if you go slow at first, what matters is, can you get comfortable with that left foot? Try something new. Good. Head up. Nice. Push yourself. Get good with the left foot here. Time. Now, we got any combination. Whatever you want, okay? Here, I want you to get creative. Use your creative spark, okay? Shot fake, chop, whatever. Scissor, cut. This is where the creativity comes out. This is what makes football fun. And then this is also what makes you stand out on the pitch, okay? Any combination. Good, all right. Last minute, guys. Keep putting in the work. Weak foot again. Now we're tired. Can we stay focused? We're tired, can we stay focused? Weak foot, okay? You can shield the ball if you want. You can chop, come into space. Drag away, stay focused. I know, we're working hard, we're working hard, but we're putting in work, other people, they're not. So, remind yourself of that. Good. Guys, last 30 seconds. Let's go. Any combination, 
Keep working. Come on. This is where it matters. Last five minutes of the game. Last couple minutes. Who wants it? Stay composed. If you lose the ball, you get right back in, okay? Mistakes happen. It's about how can you recover and how quick can you recover. Good. Touch, fake, combination, anything you want. Time. Love that. Love that work, guys. Well done. Woo! I'm sweating. What a workout. Way to go. 10 minutes of this. You do it a couple times a week. You're going to improve your technical ability. So save this video. Hey, I want to acknowledge you for putting in the work. Guys, also, I'm currently building a pro football club in 365 days. If you want to follow along the journey, check out these links here. Save this workout, and I'll see you next time. Peace.